Okay, you guys, uh, I'm going to try this one more time. So I'm going to try to go a little bit slower and a little bit more detail in how to create your name uh, to drop in in Flash. So first I chose my text tool. My text tool is here. And I'm just going to click. So it doesn't actually make a box because if you click and drag, it will make a box. So now I'm going to type my name. I typed my name. And... I'm positioning it where I believe center is going to be. From here, you have to break apart your name. So we're going to go to modify, break apart. This is control B. Mod and you're going to do that twice because right now I just broke it up into separate boxes, but we want it actually to be breaking apart into separate images. So now this is an image that we're going to now convert to a graphic. So we're going to go modify convert to symbol and make sure that it says graphic and this is my first letter which is s and you're going to say okay uh, modify convert to symbol which is f8 and this is now going to be my t and it says graphic and you say okay if you look in the library now i have the s and the t i'm going to click on this the third one modify convert to symbol and this is my e modify, convert to symbol, and this is my V. And now my last one, modify, convert to symbol. And since I have an E already, I need to name it E2 so that it will then go into the library because you can't rename, uh, save something with the same name in the library. So all my letters are here in the library. Your library palette should look like this so that they are all graphics. My first layer, I'm going to label as S because that's going to be my first letter. And when I click on the layer, it selects everything on there. I'm going to deselect. Um, I'm going to select everything but the S, and I'm going to copy. So edit, copy. And here are all of your control keys. So this is telling me to copy is control C. So I'm copying it, and now I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete what I just copied. So my S is on the S layer. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to now label it um, T because I know that that's what my next letter is going to be. I'm going to edit, paste in place. Uh, let's see. Click on the layer. Edit. It's not allowing me to paste in place. Control Shift and V. Oh, it didn't copy. Let me go back. So if it didn't do what you wanted it to do. You can keep on going back with Control C, and it will go back. So I'm going to copy that again. Edit, copy. I'm going to make a new layer. Um, I'm going to delete all of this, and now I'm going to edit, paste in place, which is Control Shift and V. So it pastes in in the same place. So I'm going to label that T. I'm going to copy the E, V, E. So copy, edit, copy, delete. I know I'm going to make a new layer. And this is now going to edit, edit, paste in place. I'm going to copy this. Edit, copy. Label that layer E. And I'm going to do, I'll copy this, edit, copy, and delete it. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to edit, paste in place. And this is my B. I'm going to copy, edit, copy. This is Control C. I'm going to delete. I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to call this E, again, E2. And I'm going to paste in place, edit, control, uh, paste in place this control shift and V. So now all my layers are back. So all my layers are back in place except for what's going on with my team. So I'm going to copy my team and delete it from that layer and edit paste in place. So 
there should be a black ballpoint in each one of your layers on the first frame, which then signifies each letter. So if you want, you can turn it off and check to see that there's something in each layer. So your letters are there. Congratulations. So now you're going to go to the next section, which you're going to then make a keyframe. So you're going to pull the shift key down, then you click on your top letter, and then click on your bottom letter. So it highlights the top and the bottom. And then you're going to then right click and say insert keyframe. It now just redrew all of these for you. Okay. So we were changing things on the last frame before. Now we're going to change things on the first frame. So it comes in because we want it to end in this position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get my letter and drag it out. I'm going to then go to my properties and say color effect alpha and drag it down to zero. So it goes to zero percentage so you don't see it. I'm going to do the same thing with my T and say color effect alpha. I'm going to go with my E and let's go from here and color effect alpha. Color effect alpha. Uh, uh, let's go with my B and color effect alpha and then my E. So my letters are going to be coming from all four corners and they're going to come in. So right now they're not moving. You don't see the actual movement because it's just going blink, blink. So we click in between our layers. Uh, in between the two points of the keyframe and we're going to say create classic tweak. So what's happening now is it all comes in and fades in. So we're going to now make it stop at a beat. So I'm going to go to 65. I'm going to insert a keyframe. So from here it will now stay at that point. I want to end with the it fading out. So I'm going to click on the first first frame, 240. So it highlights all five layers where it began on point one and where it ended on point 40. And I'm going to say copy frames. Now I'm going to paste the frames. And then I'm going to reverse the frames. And now it plays.